Redmi Note 14 Pro series was just launched yesterday, and today I'll be sharing the unboxing and first impressions of the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus. It comes with a fast refresh rate curved AMOLED display, a mid-range Snapdragon 5G processor, a large battery, an IP69 waterproof rating, and more. Hey guys, this is Mikey from Tech Makey. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon for more awesome tech videos. Let's begin with the unboxing. The box, as usual, comes in the standard white color. Inside, you'll find a 90-watt power adapter, a Type-C to A cable with an orange accent, and a black silicone case, which is a nice change from the usual transparent ones. The case has a matte finish and textured design, providing a good grip. Now, here's the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus itself. The front of the phone features a curved screen, also known as a hyperboloid design. Additionally, a screen protector is pre-applied by default. The phone has a punch hole in the center for the selfie camera. On the back, it comes in a white color, which the company officially calls porcelain white. There's also a wave-like pattern on the back. The camera module looks similar to the one on the iQ12, with a metal ring around it that has textured details, similar to a mechanical watch. The phone's frame has a shiny finish, and on the right side, you'll find the volume rocker and power button. At the top of the phone, you'll find an IR blaster, a top firing speaker, and a secondary noise cancellation mic. The top area has a matte finish. There are no visible antenna lines, which means the frame is made of plastic. The bottom area also has a matte finish. And here you'll find the SIM tray, primary microphone, Type-C port, and bottom firing speakers. Overall, the design of the phone is simple, with both the front and back being curved, which gives it a nice in-hand feel. The phone weighs 213 grams, mainly due to its large battery, which we'll talk about later, so watch till the end. Let's start the phone. For biometric security, it has an under-display fingerprint sensor, but it's placed quite low on the screen. The phone comes with 17 pre-installed third-party apps, but you can uninstall them if you want. In terms of performance, the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus comes with 16 GB of RAM and 512 GB of storage. The phone comes with a 7S Gen 3 processor, which is a mid-range 5G chip. I'll talk more about the phone's performance in a detailed review. Now, let's talk about the display. The phone has a 6.67-inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 2712 by 1200 pixels, also known as 1.5K resolution. It also features a 120 hertz refresh rate. The display is great, and you'll also have a good multimedia experience since the phone comes with stereo speakers. It also has an X-axis linear motor for better haptic feedback. As for the camera, the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus features a triple camera setup on the back. First, there's an ultra-wide angle camera with a 15 millimeter focal length. The secondary camera is the main one with a 24 millimeter focal length. The third is a telephoto camera with a 60 millimeter focal length. The phone also supports 30X digital zoom. You can record 4K videos at 30 FPS and 1080p videos at 60 FPS. For 1080p recording, it offers a super stabilization feature. In terms of performance, the phone has an Antutu score of over 750,000. For basic gaming, after playing King of Glory for 30 minutes on the highest settings, the average frame rate was 119.7 FPS, with stable frame rates and a smooth frame rate graph throughout. While gaming, the phone's temperature stays under control. The front reaches up to 37.7 degrees Celsius, and the back reaches 37 degrees Celsius. However, when testing a heavy game like Genshin Impact at 60 FPS, the average frame rate drops to 35 FPS. -y. You can also see frequent frame drops in the graph, showing that this phone isn't ideal for heavy gaming. Additionally, the phone's temperature gets quite high during this game. Now, let's talk about the battery of the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus. It has a huge 6200 milliamp hour battery and supports 90 watts of charging. You can see the battery endurance test graph here, with each test lasting 30 minutes. After these tests, the battery still has 71% remaining, showing that the battery life is quite good. For the charging test, it takes about 54 minutes to charge the battery from 0 to 100%. Although the charging output is rated at 90 watts, the actual charging output during the test reaches only 71 watts. The phone is protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on both the front and back. It also features an anti-drop architecture, making it durable. In strength and bending tests, it performed very well. Additionally, the phone has IP66, IP68, and IP69 waterproof ratings. You can see the water test here, where the phone was submerged in 1.5 meters of water for 30 minutes. After this test, 
there were no issues, and the screen worked perfectly. Talking about the price of the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus, the base variant starts at 1,999 Chinese Yuan in China, which is about 203 pounds in the UK. In conclusion, the phone offers a great display, a large battery, and fast charging. Its durability is also impressive. We will cover the camera tests in a detailed review video. However, the phone's performance is average, so if you're looking for a phone for gaming, the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus might not be the best choice for you. So friends, what do you think about the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus? Which feature do you like the most? Please let me know in the comments section. We'll see you next time with the latest tech updates. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep smiling.